Hello everyone, I am uh, Banu Prakash from the Department of Civil Engineering at IIT Roorkee. I am here today to introduce the course Environmental Chemistry. Abroad, people refer to the course as Environmental Engineering Chemical Process. Why is that? Because in Environmental Engineering, there are three major aspects, physical, chemical and biological process. So obviously in this course, we are going to talk about the chemical process, which we are referring to as Environmental Chemistry. So what are we going to discuss here? In this course, we are going to discuss equilibrium and kinetics. Equilibrium, what will that tell us about? It will tell us how far can the system go. Kinetics, what will that tell us? It will tell us how fast the system can go. For example, equilibrium, there is an explosion. You want to understand how much energy will be released after the explosion, right? So after equilibrium has been reached, what's the situation or how much energy is released? Kinetics, I guess that's self-explanatory. So we are going to look at you know these aspects in the context of acids and bases, precipitation and dissolution, aqueous complexes and redox process, let's say, right? So just some more detail, acid bases, pH is the master variable, you know, out there in life. Similarly, in environmental engineering, a lot of aspects are dependent upon pH and acids and bases. For example, carbon dioxide in the gaseous phase dissolves into the aqueous phase right and it's going to bring the pH down and that's going to affect aquatic and marine life. Then precipitation and dissolution let's see. For example some metals can precipitate out or you want to promote the precipitation of some toxic metals. So what can you do? How can you do it? And you know what can be done or what is the concentration going to be once you precipitate them out and how fast will these reactions occur? Then aqueous complexes. For example you have a metal, you have a ligand, complexes will be formed affecting the toxicity or the behavior of these metals. So you are going to look at those aspects. Last but not the least, but most important are the redox process, as in reduction and oxidation. For example, I am expending energy, right, by speaking here. Where am I getting the energy from? The energy is coming from the oxidation of the carbohydrates that I took during my breakfast. And how are they being oxidized? They are being oxidized by the electron acceptor, which is oxygen that I am inhaling. So what's being given out? It's carbon dioxide and water and energy. So I'm exhaling carbon dioxide, I'm inhaling oxygen, right? Again, reduction process and oxidation process. So last but not the least, I would like to thank my advisor, Dr. Bill Batchelor, for this particular course, and I hope you'll enjoy this course, and thank you.